<laughs> and we are back. I'm ignoring you this time. Last time, I kind of just did some basic exploration. Trying to do the figure out anything that hasn't been figured out. And I didn't really achieve anything. <laughs> Uh, last time, though, in the comment section, uh, some of you pointed me in the right direction. I didn't uh, delve too far into what you were saying, because I, you know, don't want to get spoiled. I do want to discover it mostly for myself. But now I have a direction to head in, and that direction to head in is to be determined once I read some more stuff. <laughs> uh, Brad, I also discovered the Hollow's Lantern. I discovered something about that. So that's fine, like, off the list. Or on the list, or whatever word I meant to say. Uh. When you pointed out that there, I've uncovered basically every single thing here. Except for the Ash Twin Project. Which is still the major thing. And from what I know, the only thing. Which means I can now redirect my attention into figuring out what you want me to figure out. Ash Twin Project. Some of you suggested, and one of you suggested rather, that I just read through all of these. I have all the answers that I need. I just need to figure out how to ask the question that'll get me the final answer. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's see. My point is not its warp receiver, rather a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body. The warp receiver must be located or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. The hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment in between them. All of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin while the six warp receivers are being constructed at different locations. So, what does that mean? Do, can I can I glean anything from this? Does this mean anything to me? Maybe. They 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 point out that the hourglass twins are for function as a single astral body. Is there any way that I can manipulate that that so that I teleport inside the Ash Twin project? Don't know. I don't know. In my minds, maybe this is gonna have something <laughs> to do with something. In my mind, or in this site, protective shell, physically seal off the center chamber, the last joint. I've suddenly lost the ability to speak. Once the show is finished. Yeah, okay. Then I might check to ensure that there were no longer any physical entrances or cracks. That that confirms that. I can't just walk my way inside unless the Namai are just really bad at double checking. Which, honestly, a lot kind of went wrong, so, you know. Statue Island, I found a Namai statue lying on the beach, one in the observatory. I created statues. Namai statues were designed to pair with a single user, record their memories, and send those memories into to a storage unit within the Ashwin project. So how do I become my memories and be sent inside the Ashwin project? <laughs> hmm. Each storage unit inside the Ashwin project was equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which could then which could then send those storage memories back to the corresponding user. The statues were designed to only activate once the Ash Twin Project succeeded, or in the event that it failed. We don't know which one it did. Each storage unit inside the Ash Twin Project was equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which could then send those stored memories back to the corresponding user. I don't. No. 
how that helps me. And finally, temporal anomaly first observed, Whitehall Station. Discovered that it could increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure, but departure by adding energy to the warp cores. Now, I wanted to know if a 22 minute negative time interval was possible. They concluded it would require new technology to produce the necessary energy as well as an advanced warp core to handle those energies. Ashtwin was proposed as a location for the project. So, Yeah, no ideas are coming to my head right now. What if I just read this? Here, by the way, the way you get inside of this thing is you use an elevator. Oh. <laughs> it says right there. <laughs> oh, maybe. The central chamber is physically sealed off. Immensely thick projective shell. I might plan to construct. Then I might plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. Every memory recorded by Oh No My statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. No, I don't got anything from that. I feel like... In a mine named Poke successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. Did? Well, hold on now. Did that advanced warp core that Poke make... Can I grab that, or was that already sent inside the Ash Twin? I assume it was already sent inside the Ash Twin, because that's how it's working right now. But potentially I could... That's, that's an option. Like, go back to the Black Hole Forge. Go in, back inside of it again. I'll have to remember exactly how I did that. Go here to activate the, the Black Hole Forge in the Hanging City, then fly back to the Ash Twin, and then teleport back here. I remember. Maybe I could grab that and do something with it? I don't... remember. Okay, but that's, that's not the only... These are not the only, uh, intel that I have been given. One of you said the key to this is to be a hobo. And I'm not quite sure what that means right now. The first thing that comes to my mind is dig through garbage and live on the streets. I don't think I've seen any garbage cans or whatnot. And one more hint I was given, the last hint I was given, was go and talk to my buddies and say, Hey, I found something. So I'm going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to find every single one of my compatriots. Maybe not every single one of them. Just enough of them to say, Hey, I found something. Where's the moon? I know there's so many on there. Moon? I remember you. Oh, my God. I need to sneeze. I'm allergic to discoveries. Ah oh, man, remember this place? How simple it was. Where's the moon? Hello? I'll just do this. Hello? The moon? Well, there's that. Hello? The moon? Am I stupid? That's that. There you are. Sheesh. Smaller than I thought it would be. Uh oh. <laughs> let's see if let's see if Buddy will have anything to say interesting. I doubt it because this guy's. I don't know if this guy ever gave me important information. Hmm. It also doesn't help that it's been quite a while since I've uh, discovered some of these facts. So they're not fresh in my memory. Yo, Esker. Hey, it's you. Ground control. Nope, you have nothing to say. 
Who would, who would be the most important person? I'm gonna head to... Well, the person who, who like, goes back in time with me on there. Maybe they'll have something to say. Hey, I found something. I found everything. I found, like, a cool new place. You. Maybe I go talk to that last Nomai over there, huh? I remember you. Oh, man. Oh, the memories. All right. The giant steep. It's, on, uh, it's only on the other side of the sun. And just go around it. There we go. And forward. Can take a drop by, land in those things real time sake. Yeah, it's already gone. All right. Ugh, I hate this planet. I think this still might be one of my least favorites. Hey, right here. Oh, it's about to get launched, isn't it? And we'll wait. Goodbye. Welcome back. Well, you better not like, get launched right again. You know, this isn't it. Oh, my. Lagging. There you are. It's just, ow, ow, come on. Hold on, come on. Don't you dare launch me again. Just, yeah, turn that off. Make sure to conserve energy. Just making sure that you're not gonna do anything funny. Oh, well, whatever. Buddy. It's still a little bit wet here, isn't it? I don't know how, man. I don't know how you can stand this place. It's awful. Gabbro! Hey, time for all this weather, man. I know you've done it before. Uh, I found something! Are you. Uh, I don't remember which one of these we've asked. I reached inside of the Statue Island. Cinema created those heads that just record memories, huh? Yeah, I could see the Nomad doing that. Not you would for, but it seems like they're sort of thing. Do you think the statues are recording our memories then? Because I can remember that one of the beach that looked at me funny. That must be my memory friend. That doesn't do anything for me. Hello again, again. Found something. Ooh, I found out what happened to the orbital probe cannon. Well, that's the cannon that's breaking apart at the start of each time loop. For real? Did you figure out why? Too much power. It's kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slater Feldspar would do. I'm pretty surprised that Nimai built something like that actually broke. Well, right now, most of their stuff is already broke, so. Huh. Come to think of it, though, broke might be the wrong word. Because it looks like the Orbital Pro Cannon, cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each loop. Yeah, I also found out what it's firing. Hello again and again. I found something. Want the poem? Eh. I found a photo of you inside the old radio tower. Yeah, the DLC. Yeah, you mentioned that before. They look busy in it? No. Must have friend them from the town. Old Phil sent me to check out the deep space satellite. They thought old space might be malfunctioning. But I couldn't find a single thing wrong with it. Which is probably how I got shot my beautiful bee helmeted face, if you think of it. 
yeah, 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 yeah. We already, this is the place of it. I don't think you have anything new to sell us. Any space will come. Yeah, you don't, you don't have anything new to sell us. Who else do we talk to? We could go to Brill Hollow. We haven't talked to whoever that guy was in a while. It's gonna be difficult trying to remember exactly. Uh, there it is on the other side of the place. Don't exactly remember how to reach him. I know he's in a particularly safe spot, so he won't disappear, me don't thinks. He's right next to the uh, black hole forge. Maybe I can talk to him and he'll say something like, Hey, teleport there using this teleporter I found. That'd be nice. Man, look at all those things that all the lanterns fired out. Do I remember how to... Music? I don't remember this music I've ever playing, played before. Well, there goes. Oh, no, the gra is the gravity cannon seeking? Hmm. Oh, it's just really low down. I'm trying to remember exactly where he is. Can I see him? Whoop. So maybe I just fly straight to him. Uh, let's see. Let's see. There's nothing over here. Well, yeah, that's something to try. Let's go to the uh, South Pole, find that entrance, find our secret entrance. Hey, obelisk friend. Did I ever make it inside you? Did I ever make it inside there? Hold on, let's let's think about that. I don't think it really matters, but I don't remember if I made it inside of you. I must have. I'll look at that later. Mm -hmm. Is it? It's over there. I still remember all this time later. Particularly, it's right there. Yeah. See if I remember exactly how to get to him again. So I know he's across some. Bridges, maybe? Down. <laughs> oh, I remember this music. Yeah. Right next to the Black Hole Forge, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we needed to go in there and then pull that down and then teleport right there. I remember. I think he was across here. And we're just going to have to go for it. I remember. <laughs> uh oh. I 
Hey, I'm so good at this game. Ominous. planet here is awful in its own little way. Hey, buddy. Want to talk about something weird? Ryback. Oh, you, you lost. That's great. Good job you. That's at the same place. Oh, uh, well, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? I forget which voice I gave him. He's southern now. Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in a hurry. Can I ask you something, bud? Oop, sure. Anything you want. I learned something. Oh, cool. That's a lot. I found the vessel. I have a lot to talk about to you, buddy. It's all the old settlement, hanging city, sunless city. No, my writing. Uh, I went to the comet and I talked to a living Namai. Let's go. Let's go down the list. So I found the Namai escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Actually, that's here. <laughs> wow. So then the Namai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system, and they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. What kind of trouble? And where did those escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Namai arrived here. I learned something. I found the vessel. You did? That's incredible. Congratulations. How long ago did you launch? That means they really were from outside the far, from far outside the solar system. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Well, that creates so many new questions. If they didn't come from our solar system, where did they come from? Are they from our galaxy? Or somewhere even farther? What were their lives like before they came here? And why did they come here? The eye. Also, I found like this entirely like th like separate alien species. I use an invisible ship. They're like turtle people. I'm friends with one of them. <laughs> hey, I, I might not be much of an astronaut, but I'm really glad I came out here to see the demise artifacts for myself. And, uh, thanks for telling me about the vessel. I mean, I learned something. Uh, yeah, sure. I found the old settlement. Ain't it amazing? I'd believe the settlement's still standing. But there it is. It really makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timber Hearth. You know, somewhere that isn't being constantly bombarded with meteors and rocks and stuff. Oh, buddy, you have no idea. I learned something. I found something you see on Brittle Hollow. You visited the Hanging City. Oh gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? Yeah. The Hanging City is where the Namai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement system, advanced settlement here. It's also their like only one. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to a <clears throat> you know what is beyond me. Maybe that thing kind of makes sense to a Namai though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something. Yep, they did. I learned something. The Sunless City on Ember Twin. I mean, there's another is city inside of Ember Twin? How did you learn all this? That's incredible. A whole city. And I had no idea it existed. This is great. How did they keep the sand out of it? They didn't. If it were me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the cave of that awful river of sand. So would I. Gosh, the Nomas sure were ingenious. Building the entire settlement underground. The Sunless City. Wow. That means there were two groups of Nomai. One that lived on Ember Twin, and one that lived here on Brittle Hollow. But they must have traveled around the solar system, since Nomai riding can be seen uh, found on other planets, too. Yeah. I learned something. I found Nomai riding about the Quantum Pilgrimage. A pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon? The Nomai mentioned the Quantum Moon in a lot of their writings, so it was clearly special to them. And, uh, special enough to make a trip there by themselves. Sounds like a coming of age ritual. Like how hatchlings stay hatchlings until their stomachs are strong enough to drink sap wine. Maybe once they know my journey to the quantum moon, they were considered an adult. I learned something. Oh, uh, yeah, I went to the comet and. Oh, wow. Wow. So that's how the Nomai died. One of the ways. That's really sad, isn't it? I know it was a long time ago, but still. 
Stars above. It's lucky we haven't evolved to live on land yet. To think, if the common hadn't killed them, our species might have coexisted in this solar system. That would have been amazing. But I guess it hadn't. I guess if I hadn't wanted to learn why the nomad disappeared, I'd have never felt left Emberhearth and come out here or had any of these adventures. Don't get me wrong, space is terrifying. But you know, it has its moments. I learned something. I uh, talked to a living one. Uh, that, that don't make any sense. I, I don't understand. I, I'm very excited for you, though. Please, please, please stop yelling. What? On the on the quantum moon, you said? There's a sort of there's sort of there's a sort of living no my on the quantum moon? Well, why didn't you say so? Oh wow, wow! This is the best thing that's ever happened to the history of Outer Wilds Ventures. Hey, there's also a, like another species, like living member of the species of a third race, by the way. They're turtle people. I can't believe you talked to an actual no my. Great. So I just have to go back into space, fly to the quantum moon with zero visibility, find a spooky ruin, and travel through a few different types of dangerous terrain to get there. Okay, yeah, that's that's not so bad. That's probably doable. Oh, there's something. Uh, actually, no, never mind. I don't, I don't care anymore. Uh, see you later. Well, I didn't get the information that I wanted. I did get some information. And by that, I mean I had fun talking to him. Let's head back out and see if... Who, do, who else is... We talked to Moo... I have a map. I can't zoom that far out. Ah, uh, here we go. Don't really trust this floor. Yep, just go as quickly as I can. Alright, I'm good. Huh. Yeah, he did, he really didn't have any information for us. Who else is out there? I talked to Moon Guy. Maybe... Maybe... <gasps> yeah. Maybe, um, uh, whoever is on the Ash Twin has something to say. Maybe I... Maybe I... Hmm. Maybe I could go back to... Maybe I head back into the, uh... To Tangled Bramble or whatever it's called. That guy's pretty easy to find. All right. Now that I'm in here, I can zoom farther out, right? I can zoom farther out, right? Oh, no, I had to actually hit control. Never mind, I'm stupid. All right, so there's... What is the one on Giant Steep? Brittle Hollow. The Moon. Dark Bramble. Needs to be done. Yes, yeah, so there's two that I need to talk to. Hourglass Twins guy and Dark Bramble guy. Let's go to Dark Bramble. This is pretty easy to find. Let's mark it so we can look at it better. Look at it better. Find it better. That's the one. And take me away. This time I just need to follow the... Yeah, this definitely seems like new music. Maybe I get new music for flying to a bunch of different planets in one loop. Maybe. Maybe the game thinks I'm planning something. And I'm just talking to friends. My trusted friends and allies. Maybe I head back to the No Mai and say, Hey, how do I get inside, by the by? Yeah, that'd be too simple, wouldn't it? Mm. 
the uh, technique just in case I need to get back past some fish. Some dirty, awful, stinking fish that I hate. I can enter through that one. Pretty sure. I keep taking pictures. Let me just stop. Make sure. Big fish. Yep. Buddy, I don't know if we talked about anything important yet. Uh, oh, that sounded like something broke. Yeah. Okay, we're parked. <laughs> Yo! Anything to say, Feldspar, if that is your real name? Well, where you come from? I have the same voice. Where <laughs> you can... No, that's... Ah, whatever. Uh... Let me guess, anglerfish? Uh, I already... Oh, you got it in one. <laughs> kind of hard not to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found something. I went to the core of Giant's Deep. Found the frozen jellyfish. I went to the angler... I found the anglerfish nest. Dark Bramble. Found it in my writing. Thing the anglerfish. Never mind. This doesn't seem like it's gonna help me get inside. I went to the core of Giant's Deep. So you figured out the old tornado trick, did ya? Good work. I found that fish by out by accident. But let's cap keep that between you and me, eh? Hornfells would be my very have had my very handsome head if they knew I'd be riding the cyclones again. Their ship is fragile, it can break. You can't subject it to extreme conditions. Not like I was flying the thing into the sun now, was I? Kind of turning into old Torbjorn. And the jellyfish. You figured those out too? Yeah. Hatchling, I tell you what. You've done real well for yourself. You're a fine astronaut, sure. But you might just become a pilot yet. Hey, I found them. Uh, I found the anglefish nest. So that's where those blasted things come from, is it? Stars above if I still had a working ship. I'd be sorely tempted to go show him what's what. Hmm. Probably best just to leave her alone, though. Really. More trouble than it's worth to mess with anglerfish. Yeah, I just float past him. I found something. Uh. That's actually kind of it. I, no, I can't say I found the vessel. They're blind. <laughs> so the blasted things do have a weakness. Meaning my fly as fast as I can approach to dealing with them could have used a bit more thought behind it. Ah, well, at least they didn't eat me. Well, I've talked to everybody except for the person on Hollow, on whatever, the, the one of the Hourglass twins. He might have been the smartest one to go to first, seemingly, seemingly because he's on the planet that I'm trying to get inside, or next to it, or whatever. So, I'm gonna go fly to him, and I'm gonna say I found something. At the very least, I'm getting new conversations. 
That's really cool seeing all the different planets that I've been to. In the, uh, in the flashback. Hey. Maybe I take to talk to some of the people in the observatory and say I found something. To them? Maybe. I don't know. At least this one's like the easiest guy to get to. Stick me away. I'm feeling good about this one. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna get the answers I want. <laughs> Now that I'm noticing it everywhere, it just won't stay away, will it? Smoke's gonna be up here. No, it was not. I was wrong. <laughs> I think I've talked to this guy about the, uh... Yeah, there's the smoke. I don't think I've told this guy what I've found. For, uh, yeah. In a while. Not bad parking. Yo, church! Uh, goodness, it's you! I have some questions. Uh, I need I found something. Very knows about the Adderlock's main crater. I found my writing about the hidden planet. My writing about the quantum moon. Writing about the sun station. Modern to my transmission saying the universe is dying. Yeah, I feel like this isn't going to help me get inside. Oh well. I found her notes about Adderlock's main crater. What other voice exists? Did you? I thought they were useful. <laughs> it's just my voice. The planet I mentioned may have been frozen solid, or just partially made of ice, like a much colder giant theme. It's hard to say. It used to be the fifth planet in our solar system. You'll notice, of course, that there is no such planet now. It's in, in its place is a dark ramble, which, how to put this, grew into the space the fifth planet used to occupy? That is, dark ramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out. Eventually, the planet shattered completely, and its shards were flung across space. Some of those shards collided with the celestial bodies in our solar system, such as Adelrock, which is how I believe its biggest crater was formed. Hey, I have a question. I found some. I found them writing about a hidden planet. I've been on that hidden planet, by the way. How oh, fascinating! It might interest you to know the existence of an additional planet is entirely plausible. If you look at the physics of our solar system, it would have just have to be incredibly far out there. Farther than Harthian ships would have to been able to travel. And honestly, we don't know all that much about what's out there. The farther you go, the less we know. As such, it's still within the realm of possibility for such a planet to exist. Nah, it's out there, it teleports. I found them. I found them in my... Hidden... Is the hidden planet the uh, DLC ship we were talking about, or are they talking about the quantum moon? Oh, yeah. Everyone loves a good mystery, don't they? Who wouldn't wonder about a moon that's sometimes there and sometimes not? All right, they're talking about the, uh, the, the stranger. I've observed the quantum moon orbiting each of the five planets, but sometimes it quite simply disappears from the sky altogether. Maybe there's another place it travels to. Yeah, that's where the Nam Namai lives. Unfortunately, if there is, I've never seen it. Perhaps I should take a closer look at the star charts. I have a question. I found something. Sun station. Is that what's in orbit around the sun then, do you think? This sun station? Quite clever of the reminder to devise a way to study the sun up close and personal. It must have been tremendously difficult to construct. And hot inside. I could only imagine. I wonder how they were able to travel back and forth from the sun station and the hourglass twins. Teleporting. When the slightest level up could have made a... Ugh, gross. Meant a fiery death. Hey, I found some. I found a modern new uh, transmission saying the universe is dying. You. What? I. I don't. Uh. What? You mean to say there are no modern no my? Out in other parts of space? 
And they believe the universe, all of it, the whole thing, is dying. Currently. Right now. If, if that's true, how could I have missed so many signs? The supernovae were there, but I, but I've been studying the stars for, uh, what does it matter if, uh, I'm very sorry, but I have to look over my charts. I uh, hope you don't mind. Uh, but, but surely I would have seen some kind of sign in the supernova, so perhaps, well, I freaked him out. And I got no information. Bye. <laughs>